Yes, now we'll discuss about muscles of the front of thigh. Here is This is iliac crest. There is anterior superior iliac spine. There is anterior inferior iliac spine. Here is acetabulum. This is after the foramen. Tibia, this is fibula. So, in this diagram, you can see this is anterior superior, anterior superior iliac spine. This is anterior superior iliac spine. Here is anterior. Inferior iliac spine, here is acetabulum, and here is, this is hip joint. This is greater trochanter, here is intertrochanteric line, this is intertrochanteric line, and on posterior aspect, this is greater trochanter, this is lesser trochanter, and posterior aspect at this level. Here you will find gluteal tuberosity. This is gluteal tuberosity. Tuberosity. And a back and the structure that is this is linear aspera. This is lateral lip off. Lateral lip off. Linea espera. And, and here you can see there is a spiral line and there is this is medial leap of linea espera. This is medial leap of Condylar ridge. This is medial supracondylar ridge, and here is this is lateral supracondylar ridge. This is medial condyla tibia. This is medial condyla tibia. Here is the medial surface of the medial condyla tibia. So, muscle of the front of thigh. If you cut a section here at the middle of the shaft, you will find this is femur, this is linear aspera. It has lateral lip, it has median lip, and this is central part. And here is thigh. Here is the skin, this is the skin, then there is superficial fascia, this is deep fascia, superficial fascia is divided in two parts, 
IT part and membranous part. Then there is a deep phase here. Here is deep phase here. This is deep phase here. Laterally, it thickened from the iliotibial tract. Here is lateral intermuscular septum. Here is medial intermuscular septum. Here is posterior intermuscular septum. By these septa, it is divided into three compartments anterior compartment, medial compartment, and posterior compartment. So, this is anterior compartment. We are discussing about the, this compartment, the muscle present in anterior compartment. Here, this is medial leap of linear spira. From here to here, this is vestus medialis muscle. This muscle is vestus medialis. In this diagram, you can see the vestus medialis. It takes origin from lower part of this interprochantric line, this lower part of interprochantric line and spiral line, that is spiral line and this is medial leap of linear aspera, medial leap of linear aspera and upper one fourth part of this medial supracondylar ridge. From here to here, so this muscle takes origin from here to here, like this. This is the origin point of the vestus medialis muscle. This vestus medialis muscle is inserted on, here is position of patella. This is patella. So this muscle inserted on medial border of the patella and also on the base of the patella. Here. This is vestus medialis muscle. Here is vestus medialis muscle. Another muscle is vestus intermedialis muscle. It takes origin from here to here. This is vestus intermedialis muscle. It takes origin from anterior surface of the shaft. About three fourth part of the anterior surface of the shaft. Anterior and lateral surface of the shaft. Here is anterior surface and this is lateral surface. Anterior and lateral su surface of the sac of the femur, about upper three fourth part. Upper three fourth part. So this muscle takes origin from upper three fourth part like here, from here to here. This is vestus intermedialis. This muscle is inserted on base. base of the patella. This is vestus intermedialis muscle. And the muscle is vestus lateralis muscle. Vestus lateralis muscle takes origin from here. In this diagram you can see lateral limb of the linear aspera. Here is lateral leaf. So this muscle is like this. This is vestus lateralis. In this diagram you can see this muscle takes origin from the upper part of the intertrochantric line. Here is the anterior and inferior border of the greater trochanter. Then here is gluteal tuberosity, lateral margin of gluteal tuberosity, then upper half of the lateral leap of the linear aspera. So this muscle takes origin from all these points and inserted on 
base and lateral border of the patella. So it is inserted on base and lateral border of the patella. Here. This is vestus lateris. This is vestus lateris. And the muscle, the rectus femoris. Rectus femoris takes origin from. It has two heads, a straight head and a reflected head. A straight head takes origin from anterior inferior iliac spine here. This is straight head. And reflected head takes origin from a groove just above the hip joint here. So these two heads, joints, and inserted on base of the these two heads joint and inserted on base of the patella. Yeah. So you have seen that this rectus femoris has two heads of the origin, a straight head and reflected head. And from here, muscle takes origin and inserted on the base of the patella. Here is the position of this rectus femoris. And the muscle that is sartorius. Sartorius muscle takes origin from anterior superior iliac spine, this point and area just below this, that means this area. This muscle takes origin from here and inserted on medial side of the upper part of the tibia. This is inserted on here. The insertion point is like this. This is inserted like this. And it is related with this is sartorius, insertion of the sartorius. It is related with there is under muscle, here is gracilis, here is semitendinosus. So three muscles are inserted here on medial side of the medial condyle of the tibia. And here one bursa is present. This bursa is known as ensarine bursa. Like this. This is ensarine bursa. Yes, ensarinus. It covers these structures. So here this muscle is inserted here. Sartorius. Sartorius sartor muscle. That is Taylor's muscle. Its axle is lateral rotation and flexion at hip joint and also flexion at knee joint as we are doing in palti position and as the tailors acting during tenon. So this is sartorius. The nerve supply of these muscles, the sartorius is supplied by anterior division of the femoral nerve and the rest of the muscle are supplied by posterior division of the femoral nerve. And action, these muscles are attached with here, patella, and through patella. Here is tibial tuberosity. This is tibial tuberosity. This is ligamentum patellae through which it is attached with the tibial tuberosity. Actually, this patella is a sisa about bone, which is present, developed in tendon of this. These four muscles, other than sartorius, are collectively known as quadriceps femoris. So this is present in, this sisa about bone is present in tendon of the quadriceps femoris. And inserted on here, so this is chief extensor of this. Hip joint. It extends the 
sorry, it extends the knee joint, the extension of the knee joint. So, uh, under muscle, that is If you make a diagram, here is femur, this is tibia, here is position of patella, this is patella, this is quadriceps femoris muscle, this is quadriceps femoris muscle, here is ligamentum patellae. This is tibial tuberosity and this is ligament of pattern. This is joint capsule of the knee joint. Here is the synovial fold or synovial membrane. This is synovial membrane. This is continuous with the cavity of the knee joint. And here is articular genu, which is attached on the anterior part of low anterior part of shaft of the lower one third part of the at junction of lower one third and upper two third about here. This articular genu is arranged. This is articular genu and it is inserted on this. This articular genu is inserted on the synovial membrane. This synovial membrane. And this muscle pulls this synovial membrane during full extension, during extension of the knee joint. And prevent this from crossing between these structures. So this muscle articular genu is very helpful here. So with this, we have completed the muscle of the front of the thigh. Thank you.